Patience is a means to an end. Patience is a means to an end. What is your end? That is what the patience is for. If you're being patient for the sake of Allah, it is completely different being patient for the sake of your ego. Because they are two completely different ends, different destinations. You see so many people, they are spending so much time exercising. They say, I need to lose weight. Hmm. Why? Because I need to be, look nice. I need for the people to look at me and to praise me. I need to look beautiful. I need to look young. So they're being patient now, not eating anything that they want, exercising, running here and there, waking up at Fajr time, but running. Hmm? Doing all these things. They are being very patient, denying that part of the ego that says, I want to eat everything. They're being very patient. They're putting the egos in control, correct? To look slim, to look healthy, to look nice for other people, to praise them. For what? Not for Allah's sake. You are being patient, but that is for your ego's sake. It is bounding to hellfire. Now you are saying, I am too fat. I have to sit on the chair now to pray. I don't like that. I want to be able to put my forehead on the ground because Prophet is saying, if you only know what blessings coming to you, how close you are to your Lord when you put your forehead to the ground in sajda, you will never raise your head again. He is looking at that. He is not looking so much at how people are going to praise him to his health. He is saying, for this is the work of Allah. For the work of Allah. Now, he is not doing it for his ego's sake. He is being patient. He is exercising. He is doing everything. But to be able to worship better, to be able to fulfill the responsibilities better, to spend time with the families better, and everything better for the sake of Allah. Then that time, that patience, it is blessed. You can be patiently learning how to become a thief, how to become a hacker, how to become a tyrant. These are skills, you know. It doesn't just come like that. You have to learn and you have to be patient in learning. But that is also the justice of Allah. You are patient in learning. Even if it's something that is wrong, you will get the reward for that. You will get what you're looking for. But if you're patient for something that is right, you will get Allah and His Prophet. So, one thing that the whole Muslim world is a commandment for us, talking about the doctrines. Eh? It's not a doctrine, but this is the, uh, the rukun, the pillars of our faith, hmm? to fast. It's never been changed. And it wasn't these pillars of faith, it wasn't cooked up by some council hundreds of years later. You understand? This was from the time of the Prophet. Five, shahadat, namaz, what else? Yeah, good catch, yeah. What? Zakat and? Saum, fasting, and then hajj, correct? It's never been changed. No one can change, no one can challenge. You challenge, you. You change. You believe in four, you don't believe in one. You're out of Islam. You say, I believe, but I cannot do it so much. Like, for example, Hajj maybe. Then you say, you're still in Islam, but it is not too good. You have to fulfill it. You cannot say, I'm a Muslim, but I don't believe in prayer. You're out of Islam. You understand? It's set. The six. Amantu, the six pillars of belief. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa yawmil akhri wa qadri khari sharihi min Allah. Believe, this is also set. This is in the Quran. This is a hadith. It was set 1400 years ago. The religion is complete. This is the basics. I believe in Allah. I believe in the angels. What else? Books. I believe in the books. Not just the, the last testament but the earlier testaments also that came. But all of that 
is now void because the last testament, the newest version has come that says this is it. This will clear up and this is upgrade everything that has happened before. Okay? You understand? Because I hear so many foolish questions now saying, well, Muslims also say, Quran is saying we believe in the Taurat and the Injil. Why don't you follow the Taurat and the Injil, the, the Torah and the, and the Gospels? Because it's been changed, because it's been corrupted. Okay? So, following that, and then, believing in what? Believing in the prophets. All the prophets. Not to say, we believe in everything, but this one we don't like. And we're saying that this one is adultery child. No. Or, this one we like above everything else, and this is the son of Allah. No. They're all prophets. You understand? Then, believe in the last day. And this is something that is also upgraded, especially from Judaism. Judgment Day and the here after life. Is, is there any mention of that? No. You understand? So Isa salam, came to teach us that. To teach them that and that is upgraded when the Holy Prophet salam, came to the last day. Meaning you don't get a jail, uh, what? Get away from jail free card. Everyone, it is accountable for every single thing that you're doing. You're going to be accountable on the day of judgment. There's no escape. And Qadir, fate and destiny. The good and the bad, it is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll discuss more of that later. I know. So, before we enter into this, what was I talking about? Yeah. Patience. And what about patience now? The skills. Patience, it is a skill. This is what the spirituality of Islam is. That no one can deny, especially that one month in a year when we all fast. Fasting is not just from food and drink, but you fast from your anger, you fast from your arrogance, you fast from all the wrong characteristics, you stay away from it, you understand? So, and that is how we have to cultivate these things according to the sunnah of the Holy Prophet والسلام, and those who inherit him after. Then that time you're going to understand the difference because the intention it is different. Inshallah, may Allah give us more patience in the way of Allah. May Allah give us more impatience and hopelessness in the way of shaitan, in the way of our ego. That we give up, try to do something wrong and we give up. We say we don't want this. Inshallah. Fatiha.